girls and boys let's get ready to learn conformations some people treat conformations as isomers and they call them rotational isomers or rotamers so what we are going to do is we are going to enter into the three dimensional concepts now with conformations and today i will introduce you to this guy his name is bob and bob will help us learn about conformations but first in reality conformers or rotamers are actually the same compound the only difference between the rotamers is in the position of the different groups attached now we will get to learn about how to draw conformations and then we will talk about their energy levels so let's see what bob has to teach us throughout the day bob does several activities in these figures you can see bob standing sitting down and probably reading a book on organic chemistry then bob sleeps and in this diagram here bob is doing something extraordinary he is standing upside down right now what does this have to do with conformers well all of these are different positions bob takes throughout the day similarly the different positions that a molecule takes in space are called conformers so uh, just like bob molecules are not rigid and they take different positions for example let's take this compound it is an alkene with four carbon atoms so its formula will be c4h10 this molecule can rotate in space and we can get different types of positions such as this one with four carbon atoms or what about this one it also has four carbon atoms then this molecule can take the reverse shape like this with four carbon atoms once again so all of these have the same molecular formula also the structure is same but the positions of different atoms in space is different due to rotations and so they are called rotational isomers just like bob has taken different positions throughout the day now some of these positions bob will be comfortable in for example everybody likes sleeping don't you if we had it our way we would stop studying for <laughs> je and whatever exams and just sleep throughout the day standing and sitting are also comfortable positions but what about this position it is very uncomfortable right nobody can do that for a long period of time so this position that is uncomfortable i am calling it high energy position because i cannot be in this state for a long time and when do you sleep when you have low energy right and low energy positions are stable so the most stable position is the sleeping position whereas this standing upside down position is very difficult and so it is high in energy similarly a molecule in different orientations has different energies some of them will be comfortable positions and low energy whereas some of them will be high energy positions for example in number 1 and number 4 all the atoms are far apart and so these are stable or comfortable positions so low energy and in the rest structures the, the atoms are close together so they have a high energy now the interesting fact is that the molecule will spend most of its time in a low energy state so if you look at a butane molecule 
it is highly possible that you will observe this and this structure and very few times you will be able to see these two structures because of their high energy you don't see many people standing upside down do you because the energy is very high but but you will see people sleeping everywhere let's take a look at these two compounds the first one contains 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 carbon atoms so its formula is C6H14 if you have problems drawing the bond line diagrams check my video on the same topic and if you take a look at the second compound you will see that it also has 6 carbon atoms and its formula is C6H14 also the connections are the same so the difference is in the position of the atoms and therefore they are rotational isomers also because in the first structure all the atoms are very far apart we will say that the first conformer is more stable than the second conformer so this compound will mostly be found in the first conformation and not the second one now a molecule is a three-dimensional entity to represent the molecule on a paper or a screen what we need to do is somehow draw three dimensions into two dimensions and to do that we take help of dashes and wedges I'll take an example to show how we do that we will take uh, methane for example so what we do is we draw, draw the carbon atom and then two lines like that and put hydrogen atoms these are supposed to be in the plane of the screen or paper then one of the hydrogen atoms will be coming towards us and that is represented by a wedge something like that it shows that this hydrogen atom is outwards towards us and one of them will be going away from us and we show that using a dash so if you are looking at your computer screen then you can imagine that this hydrogen atom is behind the computer and the other hydrogen atom here is towards your side of the computer and these remaining two hydrogens are on the computer screen this is called the dash and wedge formula drawing these formulas to show conformations is a tough job and so we have other methods to draw conformations and those are projections projection is a way to represent 3d into 2d that is a three-dimensional object into a two-dimensional one for organic molecules we have several projections I will write them down for you here first is called the Newman projection then we have the saw horse projection saw horse projection we also have the Fisher projection this is mostly used for biomolecules so we, we will not be seeing it for a long time the first one of these is the Newman projection which we will see how to draw in the next video we will also see how to convert between the projections and the dash and wedge formula this is a very important skill for organic chemistry if you want to understand stereochemistry well so see you in the next video